you grab? I'll take it. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take that off? Yes. Okay. All right. You okay? Look, mom is going to kill you if she sees us. Babe, I'm tired of the whole hide and seek. Let's get at the end to it. Which All is right. your mom's? Let's go. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Cool. Let's go. We're here now. Come in. Well, this is a very nice place. Is it? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, what's your mom? Ah, she should be inside our car. Oh, is this time to? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so now make yourself comfortable. Oh, comfortable where? Whose space are you making a stranger comfortable? Vincent is not a stranger, he's, he's actually a stranger. Mr. Vincent, to what do I owe this visit? Let me ask you, is it appropriate for a young girl to bring a man to her mother's house without a notice? Mom, that's uncalled Shut up! I asked the man a question. You haven't even met Hey, his... hey, hey, V. Your mom is right, okay? Madam, my name is Vincent. Demola Vincent. And I really want to marry your daughter. As a matter of fact, I have already asked and she has accepted. Oh. I see. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we are very, very eager to get married, but we just had to get your blessings first. Well... Thank you for graciously asking, but I'm afraid I will have to decline your sake. She will not marry you. If you don't mind, let me finish my task inside. Wait, 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 wait. Is this some sort of joke? Take your filthy hands off me, you common prostitute. How dare you? Mommy, don't ever call me that again. Have I lied? Are you not a common whore? Stop it this minute! Are you not a cheap prostitute? Mom, I will not warn you again. Stop calling me that. Are you not the one who opens her leg at a drop of a coin? Stop calling Stop. me that! No, 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 no. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You hit me? Yes! And I will hit you again and again please, if you don't stop calling baby, me names. please calm down, please. Leave her! Leave her to hit me! Let her hit me! Hit me! Go ahead and hit me! Go ahead and hit me more! You don't have respect for yourself or anyone! Why would I have respect for you? Why? Is it respect reciprocal? So why do you want my consent? Is one consent not voluntary? No, tell me! Why will I allow a gentleman marry a woman as such as yourself? A woman who parades the night like an owl. Can I tell you something, young lady? You don't deserve to run it home. Mom, you are pushing me to a point of violence. Mm -hmm. I'm warning you to stop Babe, this second. Please, she's your mother. I please. doubt that! What kind of a mother says derogatory terms to her child in front of her fucking fiancé? Not when the daughter is as described. Let me tell you something, young man. I did you a great favor by denouncing your so-called engagement to her. If you know what is good for you, take back that ring. There will be no marriage, so you're not getting my blessing. Then you can keep your cursed blessings. Because this marriage will go on with or without you. Over my dead body will that happen. I dare you to tell me so late. Are you coming? Because I'm done here. Madam, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I. I did not mean to cause a rift between you and your daughter. I honestly thought this was going to be a happy meeting. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. I just saved you from Kimi. If you know what is good for you, get the hell out of my house and go thank your stars. Get out! you're about to say, okay? Let me just tell you that what you saw in there, that's not me. And your response was to slap her. She, she pushed me to it. She talks like she's possessed by a demon. What? She's your mom. What if it is unpardonable? I'm never going to hear the last of this, am I? No. Not when I witness it. No. But you saw her. She was calling me names. Just really listen to me, okay? I cannot get that image out of my head. You have to make it right. What do you want me to do? What? I mean, for a 
said, I have to speak to her. See, make her see reasons now. All right, fine, fine. Okay, okay. Get out of my house, you ingrate. You dare raise your trashy hands on me for telling you the truth? If you're so very ashamed of your ways, why indulge in it? Mommy, please, I'm very sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. Please, Mommy, I'm, I'm really sorry. Take your hands off me. You evil child. You want to take me to early death. I will not allow it. Oh, please. Listen, I know I've brought shame upon you and dad. Don't mention your father. Let that man rest in peace. Okay. Oh, no, please. Listen, I promise to change. I do. Have you heard a leopard never changes its spots? How many times have you promised and failed? Oh, this time around, I promise I will change. I love Vincent like no other. Love? Would you even recognize love when it is exposed to you? You're used to giving yourself freely, willingly to men. Why is this one any different? I don't know. I love Vincent. I've never felt this way before like I felt with him. I just need your blessing so we can get married, Mom, please. And I say, over my dead body. Babe, uh, what happened? I spoke to her, I apologized, and she kicked me out. Do you, do you want to go and talk to her? I don't get it. What will talking to her do? What difference would it make? I spoke to her, I apologized, and she kicked me out. Didn't you hear that part? Let's go, please. You don't need her blessings. Babe, babe, this is Nigeria. Don't forget. We need her blessings. No. Listen, children only seek their parents' blessings in Nigeria out of courtesy. Nothing more, nothing less. Babe. Wait. Okay, at least let me help you with the bag. Wait now. First and foremost, you know that I love you, right? And I love you too. What is this about? It's about what happened earlier at your mom's. Okay. What happened was quite uncommon, you know? No mother would want to stall the progress of her daughter, especially when she sees that the future is bright and promising. Well, my mother is uncommon. You saw it for yourself, okay? Just dead this issue and let it go. Still, I want to know, is there something you are not telling me? Absolutely not. Why would I want to hide anything from you? I find that hard to believe for some reason. All right, so believe what you want then. Babe, I don't know now. Please, I beg. I'm tired. Did you guys have a fight before now? Yes, we always fought before now. We're still fighting, as you can tell. What do you want me to do? Babe, is that really it? Your mom does that because she, she, you don't succumb to her standards of living. It's hard to believe. You heard her call me the word prostitute over and over again. She said I didn't deserve to get married because of my way of life. I didn't deserve to raise a home. Okay, so what else? Babe, babe, listen. You are not a prostitute. I'm sure your mom just said that to spite you. Probably because you brought home a man without her prior knowledge. No. She's... 
it's just kind of right. I'm not the most decent girl in the world. I lived a very immoral life. I was all over the place. It got worse when my father died. I was seeking solace in the arm of every man I met and looking for my father in them. It didn't sit well with her. We fought tooth and nail. I didn't change. At least not until you came. Uh -huh. What do you think you're doing? Stop. What is it? Please, just let me leave me. Babe, stop. Stop. Stop, please. No, it's not stop, please, anything. I can't stay where I'm not needed. Look, V, I love you. And you know, but what you told me was just a bit hard to process, that's all. It doesn't change the way I feel about you, I promise. It didn't look like you were sure about it. I know. But I'm absolutely sure of how I feel, okay? And like you said, everybody has a backstory and who am I to judge yours? Are you sure? Yes. Thank you for loving me and not judging me. Thank you for trusting me and that information, babe. I'm so sorry. Beatio! Beatrice! Please, find that quiz at the door. Honestly, Jude, I don't know why you have chosen not to exercise this leg. How do you expect it to heal? Why are you bothered? Is it your leg? Why won't I be bothered when you hide under this thing and turn me into a slave in this house? Why won't I be bothered? Because Zano's all. Let's know who is at the door. It's getting too much and I don't like it. Good afternoon, Nancy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And who is this man you brought into our home? Auntie, this is Vincent. He's my fiance. Why are you interrogating them? Please, come, 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 come and sit down. Vera, you're welcome, eh? <laughs> welcome, eh? Please sit down. Thank yeah. you, Uncle. Yeah. Uh, Uncle, like I said, this is my fiancé. His name is Vincent. Oh, that's nice. Eh? Congratulations to both of you. Mm -hmm. May God bless this bold step that you're about to take. Amen, mm -hmm. amen, Uncle. Um, Uncle, yeah? we have a slight problem. Uh? My mom, she's not in support of our union. She's being very difficult. Why? I I don't know. She she said I'm I'm too old and I don't deserve to be married. Is that so? Yes, Uncle. She did say that. Vincent was there. Yes, she, she did. Thank you, Uncle. <laughs> Ooh. Babe, that went really well. I told you. Better than I expected, to be honest. Yeah, that was the way to go, didn't I? Say it. I mean, my mom is just being difficult for no bloody reason. Oh, come on, but still, we must not give up on trying to get your mother's blessings. There will always be that void that only her blessings can fill. Are we back at this again? Trying to get her blessings. Didn't you hear what my uncle I said? I did, loud and clear. But we must not give up on trying to woo your mother to get her blessings. 
She is your mom after all. Boycotting her is not an option. Who said anything about boycotting? My uncle said he was going to talk to her. Didn't he say that? Please? Don't you think that your mom will be more upset knowing that we went to meet your uncle behind her back? Vincent, what do you want? Because at this point I'm confused. It's okay. I'll make you serious. Right? Let's go. Stop, stop. Don't be upset. Whew. Come on. Why is this woman not answering now? Why is she not answering? Why is she not answering this call? Did Vera bring all this? Why are you asking? In fact, your attitude at the door today was very unpleasant. Hmm? Did you know that something good was coming? Anyway, was that her boyfriend or a distant relative? Are you asking me? Please, don't ask me that question. You would have stayed back to find out that you just left. But they were your guests, so what was the point for me to have said? Uh -huh. Is Vera not like a daughter to you? If she gives back today, will you not go for a mogo? No, tell me, go on. Oh. Please, go and get me water to drink. Didn't you hear me? I said, go and get me water to drink. Uncle, this one you choose to surprise me. <laughs> I hope not the Guanamma. Well, they got surprise those they love. Mm. It depends on what the surprise is all about. Uh, okay, uh, sorry. Chief me, chief. Uh, I brought Kula. Excuse me. <laughs> when you wash it, to bring it. Eh? Okay, man. Here we are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <clears throat> All we are asking of you is long life and prosperity. It's a uh... We're also asking that we live long enough to see our great, great grandchildren he say, hmm? he say. hear us from our very mouth he say. how their forefathers existed. He say. <laughs> That's what we are asking for. And. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I didn't even ask of your family. Oh. How is Beatrice? Mm, my family is fine. Uh, Beatrice is doing fine. Um, she's at home. And the children are all grown up, so they are in their different homes. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm making advice for Beatrice, mm. which I'll deliver to her soon. Mm. Mm. But um, please, leave uh, the matter of Beatrice alone. Mm? I have come here to discuss something very important. Mm. By the way, did you not see my call? I, I called you severally before I left house. Call? No. When? About uh, two hours ago before I left my house. Oh, Uncle, I've been busy. Besides, my phone has issues. But what is it? I hope all is well. Is Beatrice okay? I say leave Beatrice out of this. Mm? I have come to discuss about your daughter, our daughter, Vera. So, what do you mean by so? So what? Philomena, don't tell me that you are one of those mothers who do not want to see their daughters happily married. By another man. What has she done to you to warrant all this hatred? Philo, 
don't you know that when a fruit arrives, somebody will go and pluck it. It's very not ripe enough for the man to pluck her. The upper. Are you telling me that you came all the way from your house to put your mouth in something that is not your business? Ah! It is our business now. After all, <laughs> you already chewed the cola. Yeah. Uncle, if you are here to advocate for Vera, please leave my house. Because... Can you fall, boo? Philomena, can you fall, boo? What has come over you? Okay, at least tell me why you do not want to bless your daughter's desire to be happily married. Do you know if your father was allowed to eat from a sour soup, you may not have been born. Oh. Let me tell you, by custom, I am still the head of the family. And I have the right to give out her hand in marriage without your consent. And your hatred for that girl cannot change my position as the head of this family. It's your call. <sighs> Uncle, if this is a surprise from the gods, you may leave my house. Thank you. As you can see, I am busy. The door. Are you asking me to go? Uncle, I want to shut the door after you. matter of the community that brings us together to do cola. Hmm? Yeah. It is the matter of the family. So please. <laughs> uh, oh, well, let us do the cola. <laughs> mm. uh, back to the matter that brought us here. Philomena has decided to be a hindrance to her own daughter's happiness. How is that possible? <laughs> Philomena does not want Vera to get married. You remember when we were younger? Uh, the story about this old uh, witch who will not allow the prosperity of her family uh, or even the marriage of her daughters. I don't know if Philomena has become one, no. I wonder, who is this man that Vera wants to marry? He's a promising young man. In fact, they have been here to visit me. What is the young man's name? His name is uh, Vincent. Vincent? Mm, Vincent. Vincent. Mm. Is he one of our sons? <laughs> he came now. Must he be one of us to want to marry our daughter? I say, love is not tribal. The thing that matters is that he's well to do and he's vibrant. We don't have the luxury of deciding where our daughters will go in and come out. Hmm? As far as he's a young man that is promising, once our daughter's hand in marriage, I will support him. I support you. Okay, but we have to take it to the village. Take what to the village? We have to bring the general elders to give our daughter away. <laughs> he can, uh, 
We are the ambassadors of the community. Whatever decision we take here, we transmit to them. Hmm? Good. We have done it before. Mm -hmm. So I don't see why we should transport people and materials to the village to do what we know we can do here. Eh? Whatever we do here, we tell them. They will never say no. So what is the next step? The next step is to get Philomena to change her mind and bless this union. We have to meet her then. Mm -hmm. I was at her place earlier. Mm. She practically threw me out of the house. What? Is that true? Mm. That is the reason why I called for this meeting. We have to call her. We tell her we are coming. Go <laughs> ahead. Let me do the calling. She's not putting her call. I knew that. Anyway, when I was there earlier, she said that uh, her phone was bad. You know what? We have to go there first thing tomorrow morning. Is that okay with everybody? Yes. I support. Yeah, let's go. I support. So you want to celebrate it, Mugwano, through this bitter color with me. Anyway, I didn't know that Vera came here for introduction. <laughs> like, as if you ever care for anything. All you care is walking in and walking out, nosing here and there, and then turning around to call me a catch potato for stretching out these wonderful legs that God gave me. These legs that have been traversing the earth for... For, for, for many years, I just want to straight them. Then, come be crushed potato. Please, all this talk, is it that we are no longer going to the village? Beatrice, will you quit questioning me? In fact, go and prepare me something to eat. Especially pounded yam. Uh, give me money now. I need to go to the market to buy the yam. Give me money now. Give me money every time now. Nego, you keep on collecting money. I know, I know they see yam. Oh yeah? Please. Go and prepare any other thing, any other thing. <laughs> Every time you now thought I bring money now, you have changed mouth. Mm, please, go and prepare something. Anything you find to prepare. Because all the money you'll be collecting from me, I don't know where they are entering. So go and prepare anything that, anything, anything. Mm.
Vera. Mommy, good afternoon, my uh, Sorry. Good evening. Good morning, Mom. Is this how you want to live your life? Mom, I went for video. Good night, please. Are you stupid? I'm talking to you, you're walking out on me. Mommy, can you... Leave? Why are you painting me black with your nasty life? Do you know what the people are saying about you is making me ashamed? What do I do now? Are you asking me? Why are you shaming yourself? Please, my daughter. I want you to earn back the respect you once had. Uh, Mom, I still have it. <sighs> Told you I went for video. That thing is stressful now. It's pray I went to go and do this. What's up? You were just waking up. Yeah. I'm telling you, my head is banging. How was your night? Ha, it was a banger. I haven't even taken a shower. There's a party happening. Where? The bar. Hefty is spending beginners tonight. Get dressed. I'm coming with Uber to pick you up. Okay, um, oh, sh shit. I, I don't have what to wear. Does it matter? Come out naked. See you later. <laughs> All right, no well. <sighs> my friend friend people say you go to work when they see you dressed like this why do you think i need that piece of information because they are saying the truth if you know how bad you look in the eyes of the people then you can change well maybe you should stop listening to the people shut up vera Don't you look at your life. You no longer spend the night here anymore. You don't cook. You don't sweep. All you do is go out and waste your life. Come in looking like a drunk, smelling cigarette, loosed woman. All right, that's it. Bye, Mom. Vera has gone completely well.
Where are you going to? Clean it. Get up from there and clean it. Mommy, please stop shouting. You're acting as if I did on purpose. Vera, get up from there and clean it. Mommy, I've had a long night. Please, I'm tired. Ah, you're acting like you don't vomit. Just take a good look at yourself. Shameless thing. This is all you do. I tell you something. One day will be the last of you here. I promise you that. is conquering men. Mommy, please, just save your judgment. Why are you being mean to my friend? What did she do to you? Shut that stupid mouth of yours. Shut that stinking mouth of yours. You are here defending your wayward life. just tired. I just wish I can find someone who will just take me away from this place. Yes, you can. Just get a man to, you know, pay your bills. I mean, what's all this banging body for? Let's go. Because I'm even just, like, I don't understand. Acting over there, see... Life like this, why? Vera Guinea, eh, why are you living your life like this? Vera.
babe. Just go inside. Do it for my sake. Please. I mean, it's not like I don't want to, but to what end? I already know what she's going no, to say. No, you don't. You haven't even tried. You know what? Just go in there. Charm her the way that you do me. And think of all the good times that you've had. There's not so many, I'm afraid. Uh, okay, think of the small ones. Please. All right, Please. Fine. Okay, I hear you. Thank you. I'm not really happy doing this. I love you. Thank you. What are you doing in my house? I can't recall inviting you. Oh, you're here to slap my other cheek. No, God forbid. Mommy, please don't say that. Why? You don't want to hear your abominable act. Mommy, I'm sorry. I've come to beg for forgiveness. I'm sorry. And I came to seek your blessing. You came to seek? My blessing. Yes, ma'am. Listen to me, Vera, and listen well for all the troubles you have caused me. Peaceless moment, there will be no forgiveness. You dare raise, you dare raise your hand to slap me, me, your mother, Philomena. There will be no forgiveness if you know what is good for you. Leave my house. Because you're not getting any blessing from me either. What have I done for you to hate me this much? What? Mommy, I'm sorry. I'm begging for all the pain and the troubles I've caused you. I'm, I'm sorry. I've changed my ways. I'm, I'm, I'm a changed person. I'm really sorry, Ma. I change person because you have found a husband, Abby. If that's how you see it, Mom, then yes. He makes me a better person. And how am I sure that the man you found is not the one you can slap? I'm not going. I'm not going to slap Vincent, Mom. I love him. I'm marrying Vincent because I love him. And I just need your blessings. Mommy, please forgive me. I'm sorry. See, for every trouble, for every pain, I apologize. I'm sorry. Who is outside? It's Vincent. Oh, he came to see me. He came to see me? What for? Mommy, he's trying. Please. He wants to be on your good side. He wants you to like him. Give him a chance. Please listen to him. He wants your blessing. Please. Mommy, please. We beg you in the name of God. Please forgive Vera any ill she has done towards you. I can personally attest to the fact that she has changed. Please give us your blessings and accept our union. Please. Please, I've changed. I have changed, my promise. I've realized everything I've done that has brought you pain, all the hurt, the tears. It will never happen again. I've changed, mommy, I promise. Yes, ma, she has changed. Please. Watch me! 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 Watch me!
me. Watch me. Watch me. I see what I'm doing. Nonsense. Watch me. Why don't you wait? I will burn the car. I will burn it and nothing will happen. I will burn it. Nothing will happen. Why did you drive off? Stupid boy. What nonsense. You are lucky you drove off. God saved you. I would have burned that car and nothing will happen. Nothing. I will burn it. Stupid boy. No, you would have waited. You would have waited and watched your car burn. What nonsense. Then you will know I'm only saving you from doom. If only you know. <laughs> hey. Come and marry, let me see. Come and marry. As long as I'm my life, over my dead body, will I stay and see you marry? Like, like it will not happen. You will not marry. You will not marry. I said so. You will not marry. Go and bring another man. Vincent, uh, what's your anger to us? What did I do? There's something you're not telling me. Is that woman really your mother? What kind of a question is that? Of course she's my mother. Oh, that I highly me. doubt it. Because I once had a mother and she was the most supportive person I ever knew. You need to stop calling that woman your mother and find who your real mother is. Well, she is my mother. Well, at least according to my knowledge, that's who I've known as my mother. So you know that if your dad wasn't dead, I would demand you seek answers from him. What happened today was wickedness, outrageous. Well, I'm glad you experienced that rage firsthand. I told you to let that woman be, but you said no. You wanted to woo her with gifts. There you have it. Vera, do not blame this on me. Your mom is the exception. There is no mother-in-law that won't be happy that her daughter Sutor is bringing her gifts. As a matter of fact, you know what? I need a break from this. I'm not comfortable and I need to pause until I know that she's not the person that I deal with. Are you serious right now? I am very serious. Really? Yes, please, excuse me. Are you? I'm, I'm serious. Oh, so it's, it's my fault now. Vera, you're welcome. We're just discussing about you and your mother. Oh, thank you, Uncle. Uncle, please, I want to ask you, who is my real mother? Look at this unruly child. Is that your greeting? You came into the presence of elders, demanding for an uh, uh, answer without a uh, cause. Who trained you that way? Uh, 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 I'm sorry, Uncle. I would have seen Uncle Ben. I would have seen Uncle Ken. I would have seen Uncle Jim. I just want to know who my real mother is because that woman I used to live with cannot be my mother. Come, my dear. Come. Come and sit down here. Uh, tell us, what really happened? My fiance and I went to go and see her, and he bought provisions worth over 200,000 naira for her, only for us to get there, and then she set them ablaze. It's not that he was fast, she almost set the car ablaze. She had already put petrol and kerosene on it. You don't mean it. Yeah, can't you connect it? Vera, what did you do to your mother that she hates you much and doesn't want to see your happiness? <laughs> I will feed you people in on it. Eh? <clears throat> Come and be going, eh? Uh, I promise you, uh, we are going to talk to your mother, okay? Oh, please do. I'll leave it to you. Okay. Bye bye. This is the height of it. I tell you, this is the height of it. The height of what? Why can she be born in a vehicle? Pray for her. And even the gift, all the gift. Born in 200,000 naira. What of gifts? Man. This is height of it. Height of what? Huh? Height of what? Height of wickedness. You know me the height of wickedness. How can this suit to your daughter? Bring gifts, items to you, and you burn them all. Ah, Philomena, that is the height of wickedness. It is never done. Which suitor? Which daughter? Don't come into my compound and talk nonsense. I will not take any rubbish from you people. Your brother, my husband, is dead. So nothing is tying us together again. Just get out of my compound. This is not true, Philo. Whether you like it or not, you are still part of our family. 
and as a family, we cannot see you going the wrong way and look away. Which family? Because, 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 you people make me laugh. Your family. <laughs> Please, all of you just turn around and leave my compound. Also, ha, Philo, he hasn't got into this. He hasn't got into what? Will you tell me how to train my, my daughter? Your daughter? As if she's not also our own daughter. She's the daughter of our late brother. And then we are the elders in the family. See, Philo, if you will not accord us the respect that we accorded you by coming to tell you this, we will go ahead and collect the bride price without your permission. Oh, really? Fine. Be my guest then. Go ahead. Go ahead, collect the bride price. Go ahead and be my guest. After all, you are the head of the family, just as you put it. Go ahead and collect the bride price. I don't even know why we are wasting our time. A woman does not collect bride price from the in-laws according to the custom of our land. So I see no reason furthering this discussion. We will go ahead with the plans. Okay, fine. Yes, Philo. Yes. So you better calm down and comply. Comply, please. Yes. Okay. We shall see. You people will tell me whether you train her for me. Just go ahead with the instruction. I await your plans. What will you do? We have spoken, and his marriage is going to go. It is right now. I dare you. Go ahead. See what are we still waiting for? Let's go, please. We have delivered the message we came today. No, don't go. Don't go. Come back. Let's Come go. back here and tell me what to do and what not to do. Come that back. This is how the woman's will be. Me, Parry. Me, Parry. Come back and tell me. Ah, rubbish. Let's you go. want to collect bright fries? <laughs> hey! It's okay now. Okay. You do it all the time. Stop. Sorry. We're trying to talk. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, man. Not bad. Are you acting non challenge or anything? Babe, I'm not. But what can we do? What happened? What happened? Oh, but uh, guess what? What happened? <laughs> did, you, did you finally find your real mother? Uh, no, I found my armor. Finally! <laughs> I told you I went to my uncle today, right? Yes. I told you I met three of them deliberation on mommy yes. issue. He just texted me now and said everything is fair, so he has spoken to her. Wait, wait, wait. Does that solve our problems, though? Well, Uncle Jude says we should relax. I guess we should just do that and prep for the wedding. Uh, Okay, well, babe, I still want to talk to your uncles, if you don't mind. You don't believe It's not like I don't believe you, but they just said they went to see your mom, so I'd like to speak to them about it. If you don't mind, obviously. Whatever rocks your boat, husband to be. <laughs> ah, come in, my dears, come in, my dears. I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you. Uh, huh. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. Uh, first of all, let me apologize for us coming late. I closed from work a bit later than I anticipated. Ah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, uh, but where do you work? I forgot to ask you at the beginning. I work as an engineer at an oil servicing firm, sir. Oh, that's brilliant. You'll be a very good addition to the family. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. <clears throat> I invited both of you here to give you a piece of good news. Okay, sir. Hmm? Some good news, yes, sir. Uh, as the head of the family, I have conferred with those that matter. Hmm? And we have decided to give you a go-ahead. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, well, you will soon be presented with a first list for the knocking on the door ceremony, which will mark the beginning of the marriage rite. Mm -hmm. hmm? And once that is done, the family will consider you as good as married. Hmm? <laughs> After that, then you can do the other ceremony, the other marriage ceremony. Hmm? I hope that is okay with you. Oh, sir, that, that plan works perfectly for us. Okay. Then, uh, well, just wait. 
as soon as the list is ready, and I will invite you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank, Thank you, sir. Uncle. Thank you very much. Um, where's Auntie Beatrice? Uh, she will be in the house. Uh, 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 Beatty! Beatty! I thought you quit. I quit, but here I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's going down? It seems you have loads of problems in your head. Do you mind to share some of them? Bro. It's very annoying on our wedding plans. You know, immediately after our engagement, we went to share the good news with our mom. And the thing, or the things that happened, will never ever leave my consciousness. <laughs> what did you discover? That she was twice married and had four kids? Oh, if that was it, it would have been good now. Bro, her mother blatantly refused to give us her blessings. Her reasons, because Vera lived a wayward lifestyle before and she's not fit to be a wife. She brought all the goodies that I bought for her and nearly bought my car. Her reasons for that was because I had guts to continue with my plans even after she warned me. Damn, she said all that to you? It was like a movie, bro. I would never ever forget it. Shit. For your safety, you need to take to your heels and run as fast as you can. Seriously. Bro, I can't lie to you. I've considered it, but I love Vera too much. I don't want to break her heart like that. <laughs> Holy crap, you break her. Guy, what is wrong with you? I don't get it. How can you still be chilling in love with somebody the mother have warned you aggressively to stay away from? She warned you aggressively to stay away from her daughter. And you're telling me that you're still in love with her. Guy, is she using juju on you or something? I'll be juju. Ah. It's not. Her uncle's on our side, but I still can't get over the fact that her mother won't give her daughter her blessings. I'm wondering why. Why would she do that? This whole thing is complicated. If you ask me, I will tell you to pause. Take a chill pill and get to find out, get to the bottom of all these complications. Bro, all these things are confusing you. me. Uh -uh. What's confusing about this whole thing? The whole thing is in white and black. Choose the path you want to follow. Period. That's all. Guys, see the way they burn cigar for here. I don't get it. Guys, slow down. Slow down before you wreck yourself. Because of woman, she's not worth it. Believe me. I've been there. to take a break from all this. I need some time to process my thoughts. <laughs> Babe, listen, I understand you're getting cold feet, but you just need to buy everything on the list and we're good to go. We'll take the next step. Regardless, I'm uncomfortable about everything that's been going on. Why? Please don't make this harder than it should be, okay? I need some space. You need some space. For how long? I don't know. I just need to clear my head. Vincent, you're breaking up with me and this is how you go so about it. So why things. look like I know what I am doing? Do I? Please, I'm, I'm going to need my keys. Where do you want me to go? You know my mother threw me out. Where do you want me to I go? I don't know. Go and stay with your uncle or get a short leather apartment. I'll pay. I don't know. Keep your money. You know what? Take all the time in the world that you need. 
Fair enough. Uh, wait, wait. Look, I'm sorry. I know you're frustrated. I'm Do I you. look frustrated to you? Do I look frustrated to you? Problem. Why are you so bent on destroying me? What did I do to you? I hope you're happy now. Happy? For what? Your other man refused to support Vincent's proposal, has sent him to the edge, and now he has broken things off with me. Happy? Oh, good. That's for the best. And I maintain, you're not ready for marriage. Shouldn't that be my decision? Who are you to tell me what I'm ready and not ready for? Are you the one who's getting married? Are you not my child? I know you like I know my way around the kitchen. Your ways are not good enough for any sensible man. Let him go. You straighten your ways. No, you straighten your ways. Because you're the only one who doesn't support her. You know everybody does. Have you come to battle ways with me? You rude and disrespectful child. Respect is earned, not demanded. Get out of my house this minute. Sometimes I wonder if I get back to you. Oh, trust me, I wonder every time. I'll get out. Gladly. Sick or something. I miss her, bro. I do not think I can live without her. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that means you have to go get her back. Okay. Now I see the reason why you've been acting strange and looking horrible. Is it that serious? If so, go get her back. You need to stop confusing me. One minute you're saying go and get her, the next you're saying let her go. Pick a side. Vincent, you know I'll always tell you the truth. What you told me back then warranted a head clearing situation, which was why I gave you my recommendation. But with what I'm seeing right now, your condition right now demands an urgent get her back thing. Do you think she's a puppet? And she will let me pull and string her along as I please. It's been three weeks. What if she has moved on? She has even stopped calling me. Uh, 
My friend, I understand what you're saying. But if she genuinely My daughter, how are you? I'm not fine. I'm not fine at all. What is it, my darling? It's Vincent. He has developed cold feet and now he's saying he needs some space to think things through. Then let him have his space. Everything is all right. Hmm? Not in a spoilt. If he is yours, he will definitely come back for you. Okay, I hope so. I really hope so because I love him. And I don't know what type of space he's looking for. If he's not my mother, will he be asking for space? I don't know what she wants from me. Just take it easy, eh? Take it easy, my dear. Take it easy. Hmm? <laughs> hmm. Sometimes women need that kind of time. Hmm? But it will turn out fine. At the end, okay? Okay. Mara, please, 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 Let please, go. please. Let me! Don't hold me! What is it? I cannot function properly without you. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Oh, so now all of a sudden you made a mistake. All of a sudden you can't function without me. Really? I didn't mean to put you through that ordeal, okay? Forgive me and come home, please. So let me get this straight. I'm just supposed to pack my things and then go home with you because you said so. So what happens when you have a rethink again next week? We're back to this stage. Maybe that will never happen, please. How am I so sure about that? Because I am ready to begin preparations for the door knocking ceremony immediately, babes. Please. You are? Yes, of course. Forgive me, I'm sorry. Listen, Vincent, I'll, I'll rather stay here till the door knocking ceremony is over. At least let me feel like a bride you haven't lived with before. Okay, okay. As Her Majesty pleases, I will do all that and even more. Come on, I'm sorry. Please. You hurt me, Vincent, you really did. My darling, I know. Forgive me, I'm sorry. Please now. <laughs> don't you ever take it off and give it. Well, how about you don't give me a reason? I promise I won't. No problem. Look, this looks so good. How did you take uh, it off before? Stop. Don't, don't do it. I love you. Yeah, <sighs> Uncle, thank you so much for seeing us at this short notice. I want to tell you that we are ready to proceed. I have gotten everything on the list. How does the 18th of this month sound? No. That's about uh, a week from now. Why the rush? Truth be told, sir, I do not want to let this woman out of my sight again. And you did say as soon as the rites is concluded, we're as good as married, right? Mm hmm Yeah. I want that to happen now, now, now. <laughs> Love what did he? Love what did he? He just wanna love you no further. What did he? Anyway, that's okay. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> I will transmit your information to my brothers, hmm? and we'll be ready for you and your family. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate <laughs> you, sir. Thank you. Ha! <laughs> ah, a week. Beatrice, I know you're here to pick up your clothes. Your clothes is not ready. 
Just give me a few days more. You pick it off. Pick up. I know you. You never keep to time. <laughs> but I'm not here for my clothes. Mm -hmm. Yes. The news for your daughter's knocking just got to me. And I am surprised that you did not even care to tell me. Are we the women of this family not supposed to come together to plan it? See, Saturday is just three days away and not even a word from you. Oh, my dear sister, please forgive me. I didn't even remember I've not mentioned it to you. Your husband is the head of affairs now. I mean, I thought he was carrying you along. Biko, forgive me for that omission, Biko. Adima, I also figured out that you don't want it elaborate because I understand that the couple asked for a quiet ceremony. Exactly. There's no need for an elaborate wedding now. Since it's not the marriage proper, we can find an elaborate wedding in Neketa. Let's just leave it at that. Even the food, the catering department want to handle everything. You know children of nowadays, they like to do their own thing. Let's just allow them be. Let them do it the way they want it. Even the Krekre Ngong, all those things that we are known for. Don't want us to do anyone. The truth is because you know children of nowadays, it's their day. Let them be. Let's just leave them to do whatever they want to do. No, they must. If you say so. I'll see you on Saturday then. That's so bad, No problem. Okay. And my clothes. <laughs> just give me two days, you come for it. <laughs> and when I'm coming on Saturday, I'll bring it to you. You. <laughs> you that I know. I will bring this clothes will not be ready. It will. <laughs> Once again, I want to welcome our soon-to-be in-laws <laughs> to this joyous occasion. Hmm? Uh, we have heard rumors about your intentions. And, uh, well, permit me for the purpose of clarity uh, to repeat those, uh, <laughs> those things that I had. Uh, am I permitted yeah, to I go on? Yes. Am I permitted to? Yes. 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 Vincent. Yes, sir. You said that uh, you have found a jewel of high price in my house, a high price possession that you want to you want to possess. Ah, hmm? uh, you want to take it home. Am I right? <laughs> so you are, you are very much correct. Yes, okay. I have. Yes. <laughs> ah, uh, Vincent, brother. My in law. Mm. Your brother here says that uh, he has found a jewel of high price yes. in my house. Yes. Mm, and he wants to own it and take it home. Are you in support? Yeah, he told me that he has found one. That's why we came here to possess her. Then, uh, yeah, well, there is nothing left. One, no one, oh, yeah. nothing left. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, we shall bring the person that uh, matches that uh, description. Mm -hmm. uh, you see whether it is the one that you want to take. Eh? Um, <coughs> Beati, Beatrice, so. Uh, uh, please. Uh, Bring uh, Vera to come and see the people that want to come here to see her. Mm. No, Philo hasn't come, so we are still waiting for her. In, 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 relax. Hmm? It's expected. You know the kind of person she is. Hmm? She will come, but we can't keep her. Kiss him, you know. Where do you think you're going? Uh, sir. Let's uh, sit down. At this side. Sit down. Do you even know? Stop. Yes, sir. Sit no. down. Sit down. Sit down. Uh, Vera. Yeah, come, come. 
Uh, if you look here, the, uh, we have guests. They say they have found in you a highly prized jewel and uh, they want to possess you and take you. Are you in support? Yes, I'm calling. His name is Vincent and he's the one that I intend to. I, will, will, will. I did not ask you that. I said, do you know him? Yes, Uncle, I do. He has brought all these things hmm? because of the love and respect he has for us, for you, and for the family. Are you accepting it? Yes, Uncle. Let's hmm? accept them. <laughs> ah, small, small now. Ah. <laughs> what is the rush? I wonder. <laughs> you won't even think about it before you answer. Uncle, there's nothing to think about. I would like to accept it, please. Mm, well, if that is the case, there is only one thing left to be done. Mm? Yeah. This wine hmm? and look through these people. Hmm? Uh, there is a prize winning one at the end. <laughs> and uh, Vincent's elder brother, uh, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> if you know the one that you want to be, to take you home as, uh, as his own, hmm? then give him this. What ceremony? The celebration of your daughter's wine carriage. Did I not warn that this will not happen? Mom, what are you doing here? Vera, I warn you that this marriage will not hold. Mom, you were not invited, so please leave. You thought I was joking? When I said over my dead body, will you marry this man? You thought I was joking? Dig your grave. This union has been sealed. Very I should dig my grave. Dig your I grave. Should... Oh! My grave. Ah! What have you done?
Vera, are you cursed? I... I don't understand. Mommy, please, not now. I'm an adult and I don't owe you any explanation as regards my whereabouts. What is this now? Then you have no reason staying under my roof. You know what? I'll give you just this night. By tomorrow morning, you're out of this house. You have been itching to say that for a while now, haven't you? What else do you want me to do? I have tried everything to bring you up in the ways of the Lord. I've given you the love and care a mother would give to her only daughter. I've done everything in my power to see that you grow up to become a decent lady. But you have chosen to defy me and lived a life soaked in immorality. That I will not tolerate. Since you have chosen to continue living a wayward life, you will do me a favor. I will let you stay this night. First thing in the morning, you will leave this house and never to return again. Step to change. Just get some biscuits.
Thank you.